Hi. Okay, we're all buckled up. We're going to get our nails done today because this is, this is kind of a problem. It's so ratchet. I have makeup on them. I just got makeup on them, but yeah, like so grown in. I procrastinate too much, what am I doing? We're going to the nail salon today because we can't go another day with nails looking like these. It's just like, no, 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 no. We're not doing, we're not doing this anymore. Will this happen again next time I get my nails done? Probably. I don't know why I do that. I just procrastinate too much. Um, off to the nail salon. And we're going to have a boring day with Jada Kai. Maybe we'll do something fun but you guys are here for a very normal ass day with me. Usually I take you to photo shoots and scenes, but it's not like that every day. Today is a very normal day. I'm going to live stream later. That's a little bit fun. I'll show you my set, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Okay, see you in a little bit. part about getting my nails done which is also a reason why I procrastinate getting them done all the time is because I have to I know that if I go there I have to sit there for over like 30 minutes still and I can't do anything it's like the worst kind of meditation <laughs> maybe I should meditate more anyway um, I'm gonna get really high before I go in there They're gonna ask me what my job is because people do that all the time. If you wanna get bomb ass cartridges, go to wmjada.com. Then you can get you can get green delivered right to you. And you can be very prepared for your next nail appointment. So I don't know. One time my friend told me like, you should just say that you don't have a job. And I was like, oh, okay. And so this lady was like, oh, what do you, <laughs> she was doing my nails. She was like, oh, so what do you do for a living? And I didn't feel like telling her that <laughs> I did porn because I don't know. I mean, she was <laughs> this like older, very conservative looking lady. And I just didn't want to feel any of the judgment whatsoever. So I was like, oh, I don't have a job. And then later during the nail salon or in the nail appointment, she was like, um, so what are you doing later today? And I was like, oh, working. She was like, I thought you didn't have a job. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I suck at lying sometimes, especially now because I've lied in the past and I've gotten caught and that just like really was not good for me. So now I feel like I'm really, really shitty at lying, which is probably a good thing. Anyway, off we go. I feel like I could, you know, just a little bit more. Okay, this is the one that I'm getting. It comes with a reflexology massage. I'm just gonna get that or the hot stones, I think. Oh, the hot stone petty. But I feel like I'm always like wanting more, so we're gonna get the, this one. I feel like I'm being so obnoxious filming in here, but um, I mean, it's like fancy massage. This massage chair came in clutch because I have the charger built into it, so I brought in my USB C. Anyway. Ta-da! Oh my god, it looks so much better. <laughs> I'm so happy that, that I got them done. <sighs> I was out in the parking lot, like, where the fuck did I park? Like, putting off my, not car alarm, but like, beeping my car, I guess. I don't know, whatever. I, yeah, so I was like wandering. After I got my nails done, there's like a Ross right next to my salon. And I found some deals, I got tweezers. I was trying to get my nails or my eyebrows done there because well, my makeup smeared. But yeah, I was trying to get my eyebrows done there. 
but she was busy doing someone else's eyelashes. I got mascara for $4, which is exciting. Um, <laughs> and I also got Jessica, Sim Jessica Simpson um, tweezers for $5. Like a whole, or they're not tweezers, these are like eyebrow shavers. I heard that it's like really good to, you know, just use this all over your face so it's easy to put makeup on. Um, it exfoliates your face a little bit and yeah, this was only five bucks. So it's perfect. Perfect. Um, I do have to go back to the store because yesterday, um, I got these pants, but they left the security thing on there. Hopefully I have the receipt and they'll believe me that I bought it and they left that shit on there. But I used to work in retail and I feel like I've had to at least have done that once or twice in my life. So I can't get too mad. I'm wearing a fucking hoodie in Las Vegas. So it's really hot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go home, do that. Yeah, they're all taken care of. <laughs> These toes have been sponsored by Tom. Thank you, Tom, for helping take care of my my little toes. You're so sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh my god. Yeah. So I just triggered my horn. Um, that's embarrassing with my feet on the steering wheel. Like what? The I'm gonna go. Bye. Okay. I went home to change. I pretty much just changed my hat to a different shade of pink. But I'm also wearing like um, a shorts instead of instead of pants and I'm wearing a strapless shirt now, necklace. But um, when I was at the nail salon, she didn't ask me what I did for a living, which was very surprising because I feel like whenever I get my hair done, whenever I get my nails done, they're always like, so what do you do? I was kind of talking about that before I walked in there. But um, she was like, so do you have kids? I was like, uh, I was like, no, I don't have any kids yet. And she, she was like kind of giving me like baby fever. I don't know. She, <laughs> she was like, well, how old are you? I was like, well, I'm 30, am I 31 or 32? <laughs> anyway, um, she was like, well, she was like, you're getting older. You need to have kids soon. She was like, you're Asian you have to take care of your kids. Like she was like, you're not white. So you better have kids now. I'm not saying that you won't be able to have kids, but since you're Asian, you're going to have to actually take care of your kids. I was like, what the fuck? But I was thinking about it. I was like, she's not wrong. I feel like I know more white people that have been kicked out of their house. Like by the time they were 18 than Asian people, like, Asian people, I, for instance, my parents didn't let me move out like right away when I turned 18, even though I really wanted to. I was like, I wanna be like my other friends. They're more independent. They know how to take care of themselves a little bit better. I, I just wanted to like be on my own. I felt like my parents were a little bit too, I don't know, like they were kind of babying me too much. And I was like, I wanna be free now. I'm like very thankful that I didn't have to like waste money on rent at such a young age when my parents actually lived right by my school and stuff. But I was like, man, I don't know. I don't know if that's, I was like, is that racist to say? Or is she just right? <laughs> anyway, I've been like, man, maybe I should have kids. Like, who am I gonna let put a baby in me? You wanna put a baby in me? <laughs> I don't know. Um, my friend's driving right now, so I'm not driving and talking. <laughs> well, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to return the pants so they can take off the security tag because they did that. And maybe walk around and shop a little bit. Once I get home, that's what I'm going to get ready to do my live stream. The real reason why I felt like I had to change my outfit was because I was wearing an Adidas hat and I was like, fuck, I'm going into Nike. I feel like, <laughs> I was like, I feel like they're gonna judge me. So I was like, I'll put my Playboy hat on. <laughs> We're at the outlets. Did you hear Gab dump Kanye? Because, because he was doing like his weird 
he was like, I need all the freedom. <laughs> I don't know what he said. Don't quote me, that's embarrassing. Okay, so we're at the outlets because, you know, I love a good deal. It's a little bit more crowded than yesterday. Yesterday was Tuesday, but people seem to be out and about today. I was gonna wait till to do this on the weekend, but because I have an awesome job, I was like, I can do it on a weekday, but it seems like no one has a nine to five job here in Vegas because it still looks crowded as fuck. Okay, I just got back. The mall, for some reason, closes so early. Um, here's all the stuff that I bought. My phone's crooked. I got these sweatpants. I'm not wearing underwear, so <laughs> hold on, let me get closer. Oh, they're cute. Oh my God, these are the comfiest sweatpants. <sighs> comfiest sweatpants I own. Oh my God, they're so, so what the heck? I pretty much just bought um, pants and shorts. I went to this legging store and <laughs> um, I got these pants, right? And the lady was like, you know, these are a kid's small. She was filthy now. She was actually really nice. I was a horrible impression of her. Um, but she was like, I don't think you can get it up your leg. And I was like, what am I fat? And she, she was like, well, you can give them to your nieces. I was like, my nieces are bigger than me. Oh, see, they fit. Like, they're so soft. They're so soft. I love them. 10 out of 10. They fit really nice. One of my fans got me um, leggings just like these in blue. And I was like, where did you get those? He was like, leggings.com. But I never got more, even though I should have. Um, so I'm glad I got these because they're literally just like them. Yay. I don't know why I'm out of breath again. But, um, also, yeah, I got this from another leggings store. They were actually at a kiosk, but I was like, I have a sports bra that matches this. So, I have to get it. They're just stuck to my foot. <laughs> Perfect. And I can tie them so they're like super scrunchy. You know, try to make my situation look better. Oh wow, my budgie is definitely hanging out a bit in shorts. I wanted it extra small, she only had small, but I was like, I feel like these are good. Wow, okay. These are a good snag. I have two sports for us that are in this fabric. So that works out great. I also got this. These were all like $10. Like, what? She was like, if you find five things, then you can get something for free. But I don't know, I kind of felt bad because they were closing. Okay. Let's put this on. Oh, this outfit looks good. Yay. All the things I got, I think. Everything fit, so I don't have to go back. Oh, my, okay. They show your nipples, if that bothers you. I think they sell these on Amazon too. If you're expecting these to hide your nipples, they're not going to. <laughs> and if you think your butt's not gonna hang out with these, they're going to hang out, so. Anyway, I'm going to get ready for my live show. I'll show you my setup, because I'm really excited about it. It, it's gonna be cool. Anyway, see you in a little bit. Damn it. I just ran upstairs. I was like, I'm gonna go check to see if they match. And they don't, so they don't match. This is dark gray. And she was like, is it dark gray or light gray? I felt like this was a light gray, but it's, this is lighter. 
man. I guess I could kind of get away with it, but I feel like it would just look a thousand times better. I guess we have to go back. We have to go back <laughs> and get matching matching because this, that's the problem when you don't wear black. Like black is so easy, easy to match, but 50 shades of gray, you know? I almost forgot to show you my live stream setup. We're already live. We're like live literally right now. Um, and these are my Amaran lights. This is my little like cordless ring light. This is a camera that has changed my lives forever because it has a re little remote and I don't know why I'm holding my phone like this either. But if you look into this screen, it has a little remote. I can bring it up and down. Um, it shows great angles. <laughs> I'm not gonna show too much because, oh, look at my little slides for when I do oil show later. <laughs> but yeah, so I can bring it up. It can track me. The thing about it though, is there's no like perv cam setting. So when it tracks me, it'll like cut out my tits and my butt. So that's why I ended up getting a remote and it's, it's changed my lives forever. And I love live streaming now. Before when I would live stream, it was just kind of a pain. I was like, I feel like I never really get like good angles, but now that I have that guy, it's so good. Anyway, things are probably gonna get spicy over here. Um, let me brag about my earrings. Aren't they cool? The little shurikens. I think that's what they're called. I remember when I worked at a costume store, my boss would be like, there's shuriken. I don't know if I'm even right about that or not. Um, but yeah, they're ninja stars. And they're cute. Anyway, wish me luck for my live. By the time you see this, I won't be live anymore. So, so I don't know. Hopefully you come to one of my live shows one day. Anyway, good night. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.